This is my first Screencast-O-Matic, and this is going to be for modular number two. Um, I downloaded, being a Mac user, it was a little bit different, uh, downloading Screencast-O-Matic. Um, once you went to the website, you launched your recorder, and then it kind of guided you through a way to download the app onto your Mac, and when you then launch it again from here, it places the application down in your bar along the bottom of your Mac. But the rest of it is, is pretty simple, and uh, I'm giving it a try right now. One of the things I wanted to do, it was to try to uh, use Screencast-O-Matic on an iPad, which I use an iPad here, and I really wanted to make a screencast using the iPad. Um, in the coming year, I'll be teaching a digital drawing and animation class, uh, which I want to be able to make videos and uh, have helpful videos for students to um, make their way through the lessons. So to do that, um, I took a look at how could I cast my iPad onto my Mac computer and then Screencast-O-Matic from there. And I found two programs that would allow you to screen mirror that, um, which is Reflector, which is here, and Air Server, which is here. So um, just picked one and I tried Air Server and I'm trying the free trial as we speak right now. So I just downloaded Air Server and once you download it, um, it just goes right up on your, uh, your, your bar up on top of your Mac here and it automatically runs as your Mac is running all the time. Now to do this, now I'm going to have to switch and show my Apple product, or my, I'm sorry, my iPad on, on the screen. So this will allow me to, um, to, to show, uh, to screencast it. And also I could use this to project in my classroom if I want to do that too. Um, so to do that, I basically have to turn on the AirPlay, AirPlay, uh, mirroring system, which I'm going to do right now. And hopefully, if I do this correctly, the screen should change right now. And now we're into AirPlay. And you can kind of see how I did this now by shifting it. And now I'm going to just close this up and swipe this down. And hopefully, I can't see my Screencastify anymore. So hopefully, it is working. Um, so if I were to now demonstrate this to my students, I could just go to my Animation Pro, which uh, say that I'm teaching this little guy right here. And I want to change this animation a little bit. Say that we want to make this little guy wave to us a little bit more. We're going to take his arm. We're just going to move him up here. And we're going to move it here. We're going to put a couple more frames in this like this. And just kind of give him a little bit of a wave here. So he says hi to us. And move it down and then we're just going to see how he works and there he is giving us a little wave so we'll just shut this off now and close out of here and we're going to close back out of our our animation program and then we're going to go back and turn off our airplay and hopefully this will work and we'll have something showing our screencastify so if all works and I play this back, um, I will post it. If not, I'm going to have a little bit more trial and error to work on.